This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace up here, and today we're just going to be doing the third JavaScript tutorial uh, covering if statements. Just before we get onto that though, I just want to cover something I forgot in the previous tutorial, and that is order of precedence in JavaScript. Now, if you've uh, ever done bod mass or bid mass in maths, written like this, um, then you, you'll know what I'm talking about here, and JavaScript follows the same rules. If not, though, I'm just going to cover it quickly. Basically, the order of precedence is, uh, here, I'll just, uh, walk you through it. So here, you'd expect this, this, um, uh, expression to retrieve this value here. So 7 plus 5 is, of course, 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So you'd expect the procured value to be 24. But if we take a look here, see this first statement? It's actually 17. So let's take a look at why this is. Well, going back to what I said before, it's order of presence. Basically, let me just write it out again. Because this is the best way to look at it. Order of presence comes in pairs. But I'm so... Whoops. Uh, there we go. I'll separate these into pairs. So the first pair that comes is brackets and indices. So what, what am I talking about pairs here? Well, basically, I mean the first things to be done. So... Um, the first thing done in the, in any mathematical operation, basically, is anything between brackets or any indices. Uh, and if we have both brackets and indices in the same expression, then we just go from left to right with those. Uh, and then after that, we have uh, division, multiplication, and also in this class is modulus, which I'll, I'll go over maybe later. Then the final lowest order of precedence is addition and subtraction. So, let's uh, remem remembering that, let's take a look at the statement again. So here we can see division and multiplication is ahead of addition and subtraction. And the first thing we have is a plus, which is addition. But then we also have a multiplication here. And because multiplication comes first in the order of precedence, we actually do this statement first. So first we do 5 times 2. And then we'll do the uh, addition, so that will actually be 7 plus 10, which is why we're getting 17 here. But remember uh, about how brackets and indices come first? Well, we can use that to solve this problem we're having here, actually. This should just be in some bigger brackets there. So uh, looking, looking inside here, we can solve that problem. So what I've done is I've just put brackets around this 7 plus 5, and because brackets come first, uh, it does ever, it does all the mathematical operations inside the brackets first, and then it does the times. So now it's done as we expected, so 7 plus 5 is 12, and then the procured value from this statement is times by 2, which is 24 as you can see down here. So that's just something I wanted to cover quickly, because it's quite important if you don't know about it. I'm just going to get rid of this, because that's ju uh, gibberish to JavaScript. Anyway, we're finally moving on, and uh, here we have a very simple if statement. So let's cover the first thing. We've To first create an if statement, we have to write out the word if, okay? And that's what I've done here. Uh, and then we have to put our condition between two parentheses. And the condition has to be a Boolean... Uh, uh, an expression that will give a boolean value and what is a boolean value? well basically it's a true or false value so here um, what does this do? this basically says if 5 is greater than 10 so it's really actually simple to understand and this of course uh, procures a boolean value because if it is greater than 10 it will procure a true value and if it's not it will procure a false value so it's pretty self-explanatory really um, so that's how the if statement goes. As well in the if, in this uh, if block, we can call it, we can have an else if statement, which means if this first test fails, test this. And our else if goes exactly the same way as if, except we just add an else before it, and then a space, of course. And here I'm just checking to see if 5 is equal to 10. 
and it's very important you don't muck up this equals with the uh, single equals which actually assigns a value remember when we create variables we said var my name equals acid okay that's assigning the value whereas with a double equals like we we have here we're checking to see if the two values are the same I'm just going to delete this quickly and finally we have the else statement which means if the this if fails if it get, if it procures a false value from the condition and if the else if fails procures a false value from the condition then you execute this code no matter what okay and this is only executed if the first two fail likewise this is only executed if the first one fails and this condition is true so if if this condition is true this ex executes it doesn't then go on to check to see if this one is true and if it is true it executes both of them it will only execute one and the first one it comes across that is true it will execute uh, but the elf statement uh, executes if both the uh, values procure as false and so I've just got some document.write functions here the first one in the if statement says condition one is true second one says condition two is true and the else statement says condition conditions are false okay and if I refresh this it says conditions are false so let's check why that is first of all our first statement is if statement is saying if 5 is greater than 10 we know 5 is not greater than 10 and so does JavaScript so it procures a false value and it doesn't execute the code between these two curly braces then it goes on to the next one to check if 5 is equal to 10 and of course 5 is not equal to 10 so it doesn't execute the code between these two curly braces uh, and we haven't we haven't got anything else left except the else which executes no matter what so long as these two uh, values are procured as false so it just outputs conditions of false uh, just before we continue actually I've noticed something myself uh, don't go ahead thinking that you you can only have one if well you can only have one if yes but don't go ahead thinking that you can only have one else if I can in fact have uh, tons of else ifs so let's check to see if 5 is uh, not equal to 10 okay that's what this exclamation mark uh, equals means this is means not and this means equal to uh, you might be thinking, shouldn't this be like that? Because you said the single equals is the assignment operator and the double equals is uh, the checking for equality operator. Well, yeah, really, it should be. But for some reason, they decided that in this, in this, um, I don't know what to call it, actually. In this operator, it's an operator, basically. In this operator, they decided to only have one equals, okay? So this checks if something is not equal to, although we can also have a double equals like this. And if we put these between curly braces, uh, sorry, brackets, and then put a not outside, because remember this alone just means not. We're checking if not 5 is equal to 10. That's the same as saying if 5 is not, oops, if 5 is, uh, not equal to 10 like so okay so they're both the same way of saying things anyway let's move on uh, we're going to copy and paste this okay and we'll just change this to condition 3 because it's the third condition and if I refresh this here it says condition 3 is true because 5 is not equal to 10 uh, yeah 5 is not equal to 10 here that's why that didn't execute, so it must not be not equal to 10. Uh, if I now change this, uh, no, I'll leave that like so. That just demonstrates something. Let, actually, let's change this to equals equals, and we'll change this to 1. Uh, sorry, not equals. So now it says condition 2 is true. So th these are all very variable. And just so you know, you, uh, I'm going to go through all the... the um, operators that check things now just so everyone's clear on them the first one we have is the less than the second one is the greater than then we also have the less one that less than or equal to for instance say this was say I was taking checking if 10 is less than 10 this would not be true if I just uh, 